Anyway, her mom, according to that article, is best friends with Hillary Clinton. Hello, and welcome to If Grapes Could Talk, your one and only source into the corrupt lives of wine countries. And hi, I'm your host, Rye, and I know it's been a while. I really spent this time taking a step back and diving into more research. While I've been doing that research, two things have become abundantly clear. One, I really do need to make some sort of visual aid, like the corruption wall, to be able to successfully pull off a lot of the episodes I've been threatening um, people with for a while. And the second thing is that the corruption wall is going to be huge. I, every single day, find something that just makes my jaw drop. Something that feels completely unbelievable. I don't just mean huge, like it's gonna be mind-blowing, like, whoa, dude. It's huge in that there are very wealthy, noteworthy people on here, not just at the Sonoma level, but at the national level. That in and of itself is important in understanding the local politics. I had some understanding of the power discrepancy. You know, we're talking about people like this person right here, this person, Quincy, Quincy Tompkins Imhoff, who is a former trustee of Sonoma County or is a former trustee of Sonoma County. According to this piece about some litigation between um, other family members of her, lots of family on family litigation it has been coming up in my research. Anyway, her mom, according to that article, is best friends with Hillary Clinton. So, you know, we have people who have that level of like elitist pedigree. You compare that to someone like Councilwoman Deborah Fudge, who couldn't even win a board of supervisors election, um, if my historical memory is correct there. It just, it just starts to feel silly to put them in the same category. Do not take this as sympathy from Deborah Fudge. You know, my take on Deborah Fudge, honestly, is just that she was someone who was caught up in the glitz and glamour because she seems so insignificant compared to other people on the board. So I hope that helps illustrate where like, you need almost need this board to understand the full context of what was going on for just the players in Windsor because it just, it is different when you're talking about small town politics when the big players are that big of players. And at this point, like, I just have to know. I just have to know, like, how big are the players really? How do they know each other? What are they invested in? How are they using their power to influence the county? How are they not using their power to influence the county that would actually be helpful? What politicians are they donating to at the local level, at the national level? Another thing that's really come to my attention, you know, th the first strike against Fapola was a civil suit. And I also want to look more into civil suits as a way that we can identify corrupt institutions that claim to serve Sonoma County, but maybe causing more harm than good. So we actually have Community Support Network, a local nonprofit. They've been added to the board and there's two, you can't see over here, but like, so the idea here is that this side are like relatively known bad guys because um, they there's lawsuits against them or char well, actually char criminal charges brought against them. So as you can see, because um, there's not as much down here, hilariously enough, let's see, we have the ones that haven't done bad as far as I know yet, lols, are Kendall Jackson, or Jackson Family Wines, Cardinal Newman, so the Catholic high school. I just find it hard to believe that no dirt will come out there. Sorry if that makes me a terrible person. And then, um, actually speaking of Catholics, um, Catholic Charities, I think, is over here. No, they would, they would go over here. They would go over here because they're implicated in um, like campaign finance stuff with the poly. I might actually have to like decide like, well, what counts as bad? Over here on the has been sued side, we have added community support network. And I found it interesting um, that the press Democrat covered the vigil honoring Silvia Bracamonte, but didn't care to honor her enough to cover the lawsuit that her family has filed against Community Support Network. Might that be because a lot of the major donors to Community Support Network are gonna be 
right here and probably um, various professional organizations that they're associated with and businesses that they own are going to be over here. Again, so you can just kind of see where as I'm getting new information, it just becomes clearer and clearer that in order to do the story justice, I need this visual. I need you to be able to see what I see. I need you to be able to see like that there's a name here with connections to everything over here just to the point that it's it's like, yeah, you know, even if they didn't know, didn't know, or didn't do anything wrong, please take their money away so they stop financing things like this. So that's my update. Just keeping you updated on my journey. I will be back in June with video videos. If you haven't already, now would be a fantastic time to subscribe on YouTube, like the Facebook page, and turn on notifications um, so that you do know when that next June video releases. And until then, you know you love me. XO, XO.